It is 8.15 and I had to cut Mike's hair this morning because he has to go into the city today and we really left it till the last minute. Wow, this weekend was stressful. I know I start every vlog like that, but uh, Simon got sick over the weekend. He's had like a cough and a stuffy nose for a week or so and that's so common when they're in daycare. Like it, they just, always have a little bit of a stuffy nose or like a raspy throat because they're just churning through germs <laughs> and that's kind of what they're supposed to be doing but he did run like a low grade fever on saturday and he has to be fever free for 24 hours to go to daycare and so we were like <sighs> really crossing our fingers that like it stayed down and um, I took him to the doctor over the weekend too, just to get like a COVID test and stuff, just to, you know, you just wanna make sure, and also to get his ears checked because anytime he seems upset and starts to get a little bit of a fever, we just get really like paranoid that he has another earache. But the doctor was like, his ears are fine. He's just got a little virus. He's gonna work his way through it. And you know, fever means that his body is fighting it off, which is great. And um, this morning he woke up cool as a cucumber, happy, happy, joyful child. He was like 98.3, you know, just like <sighs> happy kid. And I love that like, I was telling Mike about this while I was cutting his hair. I was like, I just, I don't know why I'm so proud of him, but it's like, there's something about the fact that as soon as he feels better, his default is just pure joy. Like we should all be that way, right? <laughs> That's such like a, a truism, right? It's like, oh, be as a child or whatever. But like the fact that they take nothing for granted, maybe they take everything for granted. I'm not sure. They just have this like very pure worldview. And so it's like, as soon as they stop feeling any kind of like physical inconvenience or annoyance, they're just default back to like 100% child joy. And it was a great way to start the day, okay? Like, I just feel really, really good. And it's like, yes, it's hard having a kid who is sick because it's, it's like, I guess you would say it's like an inconvenience, right? You can't go anywhere with them or anything, especially when it's hot outside because you wanna make sure that their fever stays low and stuff like that. That's not really my concern as much as it is like he is and will always feel like an extension of my body. And so when he's sick, I feel sick for him. And I even like broke a fever overnight. Um, you know, like had a hot flash and like woke up all sweaty and greasy. And I mean, I, that didn't surprise me at all. <laughs> like That's what happened right after he was born too. I was just like constantly hot flashing like that. It almost felt psychosomatic. So now that he is feeling better um, and has been, you know, like long enough that I feel like he's on the other side of it, it's like a cloud lifted, so. Um, I'm in the middle of uploading my blush video. The hardest part of that video is actually the links because I'm literally linking every single blush that I, like every single cream blush that I own. And all the videos that are whole reviews of those blushes if I've done individual videos on them. So, I mean, you know, uploading it is not just pushing a button. It's like, it's a slog. So, I started it and then Mike got home, cut his hair, he's looking dapper and he just took the dog out and then he has to come back take a shower and then the train station is like super close to us so that shouldn't be an issue but um i pretty much have the house to myself today <sighs> i'm also really glad to be on the other side of that video while i really really enjoy making those kinds of roundup videos it's extra pressure because i know that they're going to be a touchstone for people who are new to my channel and it might be the way that people find me and so they have to be excellent i, I always want my videos to be excellent but sometimes i'm a little bit more casual i really want to make sure that i get my lighting right and convey the right textures and make the comparisons really sound and um, make them easy to understand and stuff. And it's not necessarily like stressful, but it is a relief to be again, like to have it done. So that is huh, the feeling that I'm having this morning is just one of um, a little bit of completion, which is nice. Plus it rained all weekend and now it's like beautiful and sunny outside. So. There must be some kind of like cosmic resolution that just happened. Are we on a full moon or something? I don't know, but um, yeah, that's my Monday morning. Also, 
Look at these cute little earth tone bibs. I mean, sure, that one's like, you know, bright orange, but the rest of them are like these really, really cute colors. He's wearing like an evergreen one today. I don't know why I get so excited about that kind of stuff, but I just love his little color combos. He always, today he looks like he's going to camp. It's so cute. And I'm also getting shoes for him in the mail today, like some first walking shoes. I ordered them, um, you know, I found them on Instagram. They're a brand called Heart. H-A-R-T. I am so excited. They're adorable. So um, all of those things are happening today. I'll show you the shoes when they get here. I just uploaded my video. I feel great. <laughs> there are so many links, <laughs> but I did it. And now I'm going to eat some breakfast. It's 9.38. Mike left a bit ago. I figure I'll show you guys what I usually eat for breakfast. Oh, I'm feeling like a princess. Now that I have gotten a chance to collect myself for a moment. Hello, doll face doggeroo. Do you want to go outside, doll face doggeroony? There you go, I'll join you in a moment. My battery's dying. We're having yogurt. I eat one third of a yogurt container every breakfast. I really, really like yogurt. And while I love comments and recommendations and everything, I just want you guys to not get your hopes up about me ever trying a different type of yogurt because this is the one that I like. The Stonyfield Organic Probiotic Whole Milk Vanilla. Okay, I am whole milk vanilla yogurt at the end of the day. And then I put whatever granola my husband finds at the grocery store on top. And as it sits in the yogurt, it kind of gets a little bit mushy. It's quite lovely and hearty and it gets me through the morning. If it was just yogurt, it wouldn't, but this is very, very delicious. And I'm still going to scrape out the inside of that and eat it when I turn the camera off. But that's usually my breakfast, that giant bowl of yogurt and granola. Yay. Hello. It is four minutes shy of 2 p.m. Daily Harvest. If you're like, gosh, Khaki, you're very tan. Yeah, I did a self tan on top of an actual tan. So like I didn't, I don't go to a tanning bed or anything. I've just accumulated a bit of a natural tan being outside this summer, wearing lots of sunscreen, but still. Anyway, since you last saw me, I did some yoga and I took a shower, I filmed a video. I was swatching the Kosas, the new lip fuels. I mean, they're not new, but they're kind of new. Either way, swatched those, edited the video. It is currently exporting. And now I'm eating. I'm having my, my lunch. If you're like, Khaki, how's that a lunch? It's actually a lot of food. <laughs> and my digestive system really benefits from something being broken down like this already. It really, really helps because my digestive system is it's really pathetic. I've been having a gigantic smoothie for lunch as many days a week as I possibly can for the last three years, <laughs> something like that. I feel like they really help. So I just do two at a time of the Daily Harvest smoothies. So this is the carrot, ginger, walnut, all kinds of nonsense, sweet potato. And um, the reason that I chose this one today was because I stepped outside and it wasn't like, devastatingly hot and humid outside and I was like, fall? Is that you? And I was like, I'm gonna have a carrot cake flavored smoothie to bring me into the fall spirit as I'm like, you know, turning myself the color of a fall leaf maybe. Either way, I can't stop listening to the sister podcast, I guess you could call it that, of You're Wrong About, which is called Maintenance Phase, and it's Michael Hobbs of You're Wrong About, and another person, I can't remember her name yet because I just started listening to it, but it's all about diet culture. I cannot stop listening to it. It's so, so fascinating. So I've been through two episodes so far. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, it comes with like, you know, 500 trigger warnings for very, very good reasons, but um, it's an incredible listen. An incredible listen. I just want to apply the amount of research that he and his co-host do, uh, same thing with um, We Are Wrong About, to like everything in life. <laughs> Those are the kinds of podcasts that I wanna listen to are the ones that make me smarter. Like, make me smart, Kyra's doll. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go eat outside. I just wanna say hey. Hey! Do you wanna come outside with me? Do you wanna come outside with me? I love you! He's like, oh, I'll settle for you. Dad's in New York. <laughs> hey guys, it's Tuesday. And um, since you saw me last, things took a turn. <laughs> I was loading the snoo into its cardboard box and I believe what has happened is I have thrown my back out. <laughs> I've never had that happen before, but I'm in so much pain. But fortunately, I you know, already have a lot of really great advice. I've been doing a lot of planking this morning and like, you know, uh, exercises and stuff. And um, it was hurting all the way down my legs yesterday. Um, and I was like kind of freaking out, but that has gone away and has been replaced by period cramps and that like aching down in my thighs. And so I think that it was like kind of a little bit of both last night. And um, I was like, why do I feel like I need to poop my pants? Like, <laughs> you know, back pain isn't, doesn't usually do that. And um, it was also because I, my period was about to start. So TMI, welcome to my channel. Um, and then on top of everything else, Simon's fever shot back up yesterday while he was at daycare. <laughs> they called me and they were like, um, he fell asleep in the middle of the floor? <laughs> I was like, what? So, uh, they can't go back to daycare unless they've been fever free for 24 hours. So he is home today and my mother-in-law who would usually help us out is sick. So it is just a baby and mommy day. He's asleep right now though, because when they're sick, man, they sleep a lot. And it's actually really sweet because he like sleeps on me, which he never does. And like, ugh, if I hadn't put him down, he would just be sleeping on me right now. It's so cute. But I needed to get up and take a shower because in all of my, um, you know, well-intentioned frolicking yesterday, I also put on uh, a fake tan. <laughs> I never got to wash it off, so I woke up looking like the high sparrow this morning, just like dusty, you know? <laughs> like, my bed sheets were all brown. I was like, ah, crap. And so um, I had to wash all that off, and I am um, very tan now. Not my face. And then uh, one, one little awesome thing. These came today. Actually, they came yesterday, but I just went out there and got them. Come on. Can you stand it? These are the little shoes that I got for Simon. These are his like first walking shoes. They're called Hearts Booties. And you know, I saw them on uh, Instagram, but you can get them on Amazon. I did Amazon just because in case they didn't fit, it would just be like a really easy, like quick switcheroo. So when he wakes up, I'm going to try them on him. For all of the Simon's Feet fans out there, <laughs> we have a very important update. <laughs> oh my Lord. Yeah, um, there are moments where I feel okay with my back and then there are moments like leaning over and putting him in his crib where I'm just like regret. But tomorrow's video is already done and up. And I think the only other thing that I need to film this week, well, I mean f film for this week is my Nordstrom wish list. And then uh, my mother-in-law will be here on Thursday and Friday. It won't be a big deal, so I'm not too worried about it. And if if we skip a video, we skip a video. This is definitely like when it rains, it pours style, so. <sighs> Get out of here. Get out of here, bugs. Oh! Good morning, Tang. It's Wednesday. Simon went back to daycare this morning. Oh, I'm still in pain. Ah! But I've been getting tons and tons of really helpful recommendations from friends and from you guys that, uh, you know, are helping with my back, so. Been doing some hot and cold therapy, been doing some planking and some, some other exercises, and my friend Michelle's gonna send me some stuff to do with a lacrosse ball today to roll it out. But I figured I would come out here and sun my bones oh, before it gets too hot out, but it's only gonna get up to like 80 today. Lantern flies, idiot bugs. What's up? 
You looking for your dog? Oh, Lay! Diva! Let's go! The dragon ass! Here I come! Here I come! Here I come, dead! Meanwhile, this guy really matches my energy. Oh, yeah, I got hit like the one, two, three punch of um, my period starting, my back being thrown out, and my kid being sick. And I was just like, and we're taking the day off. <laughs> so I did. And um, it was really quite lovely. We just watched a lot of Food Network <laughs> and hung out. And because he was fighting something off, like it just kind of took the edge off of his typical hyperness and he was like more cuddly and he slept more until yesterday evening like during the day he just kind of like wanted to hang out with me but like yesterday evening he got his mojo back and he just started crawling all over the house it was so funny i mean he discovered his reflection in the oven door and then hello um he figured out that kitchen cabinets are not for uh those handles aren't just for babies to pull themselves up on they actually open cabinets he was like whoa and uh he carried around a candle for a while made his hands smell really good because he's like whenever he's crawling he always has to like grab something and carry it with him he's a man on a mission and he um chewed on the side of uh, a different coffee table which is cool and crawled all over the animals like now he can kind of hunt the animals which is really funny because they really want absolutely nothing to do with him so now he can like pursue them and they get all scared it's very funny i mean what's the worst a baby can do like pull their hair we just make sure to monitor them really closely because you know we don't want them like taking a swipe at his beautiful money maker but um that said nothing bad has happened yet it's just really funny like he uh, I turned my back for like two seconds. I can't remember what I was doing. Um, I think I was like getting per monster off the counter or something, you know, and Simon was on the bed and I turned back around and he was completely on top of Bruce. Like he had just, just smothered him with his body and Bruce was just like, like I expected Bruce to totally freak out and react and like do something crazy, but he basically was just looking at me like in total shock. It was so funny so funny and then ultimately the only recourse he had to take was to you know leave so well the flies be out this morning they are all over my knees and my legs and stuff quite annoying but other than that you know it's kind of funny it's like this time of year I always get like I'm like oh, I'm ready for fall but there's always this like horrible sinking feeling of futility in my my gut being like well, I know I'm never gonna get it because I live in Austin, Texas, and even as that time of year rolls by, we're just going to forgetfully skip through fall and just go straight into a rainy, nasty winter. This year, I live in New Jersey, and we're going to get a proper fall, and we're gonna go apple picking, we're gonna go on hay rides, I'm gonna decorate my front porch. It's gonna be chuggy. I'm gonna get tumblery. I'm gonna make up for lost time. I'm gonna hang up Halloween decorations and dress my kid up three different times. So anyway, that's my Wednesday so far. Cross your fingers for me that Simon stays well all day. Tomorrow's grandma day. Bush, 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 bush. Purr, 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 purr. Boys, shaboos, rise. Hey, bud. It's freaking lovely outside like i might need a jacket what is it out here right now 77. love that journey for me you know <laughs> simon just went down um it's like i don't know what time is it oh my lower back 706 he only took one nap today. <laughs> it's like he was making up for lost time at daycare. He did make it through the whole day. No fever, which is great. 
and he um, apparently only slept for an hour, like from like noon to one or something, because <laughs> he was just having so much FOMO. So, um, so cute. You know, he came home and he was like super adorable. He has this thing right now where he like puts his face against my face and he thinks it's so funny and of course it's really cute but he also is just like t attempting to kiss me but it's just this like open mouth slobber thing of course i think it's adorable because it's my kid but um it's like every time his his face pulls about an inch away from my face so that i can see him he's just got this insanely sweet smile on his face with his nose all scrunched up and it's just like straight to my veins so I should actually grab his monitor I don't want to get up I don't want to get up Mike said he had to go answer an email so he is doing that everything is so strategic with my back right now Oy vey. oh but I was yeah, bug. extremely productive today shut up news <laughs> Oh. Like, you know, Mike turns the news on and I'm good. In five minutes, it's like I found out everything that's going on and we can turn it off, but it's like, no, instead they're just gonna say the same thing and get 800 people's opinion on the same thing over and over and over again. It's just such a breaking downer, man. So I'm coming outside again, even more feedback about my back from everybody but um I still feel like the best explanation is it feels like I pulled my pooper <laughs> like it's just so low back like the lowest low back possible but um oh yeah I was super productive today I filmed and edited two videos so I it's like I got it's crazy it's crazy how like yesterday completely set me back and then today I'm just like way ahead so a lot of stuff has not gone to plan though. I had like a sponsored video that was supposed to work out and be up, you know, I was supposed to be working on that right now, but um, you know how you get stuff in the mail and wow, like none of it worked out. And you know, you just kind of have to break it to the company and be like, yeah guys, like I can't in good conscience, like talk about this on my channel because I, I don't recommend it. So um, yeah, that fell through and we're kind of trying to re-strategize on something else, but there's a bunch of really good releases coming out. So Thrive just released their pressed powder today. That's super exciting. And I mean, M Cosmetics with the cream blushes, Glossier with their bronzer today. The Wayne Goss eyeshadow palette, I that thing is so pretty. And I have my Nordstrom sale recommendations video coming out, so. Oh, eh, oh. I need to go get an ice pack. and they um, pack it with a sunscreen that's SPF 50. That's not joking around, it's like straight up blue. So <laughs> that's what's on my face right now. I just kind of like realized, you know, it's already Thursday and um, I don't know, I didn't do anything particularly exciting this week for the vlog, so. Um, I just started painting this morning. It already looks like the canvas is warped. I paid $75 for that canvas. That's so frustrating. I don't know. Anyway, 
I am just trying to get back into some creative process. My main thing, you know, the first step, the first layer of paint is always like, just cover the canvas, you know, and just like get your feels out. Um, and right now it's quite ugly and I don't like it, but it's okay. <laughs> Nothing is done until you decide that it's done. And you know, and until then, you don't even have to decide whether you like it or not. So anyway, um, yeah, just, you know, playing currently. And uh, I don't know, I, I hope this was like even fun to watch. I'm not sure it was, but thank you guys for watching. I love you and I will try and do something more exciting in the next one. Bye. <laughs>